started when Goodyear was trying to hire another full-time officer. They had it open for three weeks, and as you know, they didn't get any applications. The chief asked for a little higher salary to try to get some. Long story short, he ended up resigning, and the others, the other part-timers already had jobs, full-time jobs. Um, and so that's, that's what put us to essentially tomorrow at 4 o'clock, we'll be taking over law enforcement in Goodyear. I would say we're not concerned because it's not like we don't have any police force. Goodyear County is just based out of Red Wing, which is close. And they come into town and are, you know, driving through our town, keeping an eye on things. So we're not without police enforcement at all. With you that has not gotten one? The uh, the one guy that took off, yeah, he could he you, didn't get one. Could you get one to him? Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good luck out there. Thank you. It, it's nice to have, I guess, a, a personal relationship with the police officers in town, but I, we don't. It's not that we don't have that with the county guys either. I mean, it's not, you know, between here and Red Wing and most of Goodyear County, there's not two or three million people. It's it's small towns, so you still know some of these guys too. There's some that really kind of hinder us too. We had an intern, and then he is a in a class of 13 at Southeast, uh, not Southeast, but uh, Rochester Technical College. 13. There used to be 40 to 50 kids going to school for that. Now I know for a fact, in it's just in our Southeast district. There's more than 13 openings. scary because we are not replacing those people we are like I told you we are robbing Peter to pay Paul and we're not alone right. 